Welcome back guys. A few days ago we talked about how to create an ROI in FSL using FSL maths. Specifically we created a sphere around a series of x, y, and z coordinates. You can do a similar thing in AFNI using either 3D Calc or even easier a program called 3D Undump. So to show you how to do this first of all we're going to open up AFNI and here is an anatomical data set that I'm going to use. This is an MNI space and let's say that I want to create an ROI and the let's say right nucleus accumbens so I'm going to right click here go to atlas location scroll down until I see right nucleus accumbens here we go okay so this is for another tutorial I'm not going to get too much into it right now but notice that right is in the negative direction it has to do with the fact that we're in RAI coordinates. Okay, this is the default right now. You can change that, but just note down these numbers right here. Negative 12, negative 8, negative 8. Alright. So that's the right nucleus accumbens in that data set. So first thing you gotta do is create a text file which has those coordinates. So write NACC.txt. And just give it a triplet, so what was it, negative 12, negative 8, negative 8, something like that. That's all you need for your text file. That's in this right NACC.txt file. Okay, so once you have that, you actually have all you need to use 3D Undump. So first of all, give it a prefix for the output file name. I'm going to call this right nucleus accumbens again. And the master data set is that anatomical data set I was just looking at. So an at underscore MNI plus Tallyrack. Okay. Remember, Tallyrack doesn't mean it's in Tallyrack space. This is just a standard saying that it's been warped to a standardized space. It's actually an MNI space. Okay, SRAD, that's spherical radius. I'm going to give it 5 millimeters. And XYZ is that file that I just created, which is at write NACC.txt. that might have conflicted with something already output, so just appended a 2 to it. All right, so I'm going to open up now that AFNI MNI and write NACC underscore 2. Okay. Now, overlay is going to be that mask I just created, and you can see it in red right here, right around the nucleus accumbens. So just verify this by doing where am I. All right, and you can see focus point, according to this atlas, is indeed the right nucleus accumbens, roughly. I wasn't totally centered on it, but you get it. All right, so that's how you use 3D Undump, and in the next tutorial, which will be very short, I'll show you how you can use a script to make it much easier, much more quick, to create a sphere in any coordinate you choose.